Welcome to CS1004. This is a course designed for non-majors, and in this course I'm going to teach you how to program in Python. Most importantly, I'm going to try to help you think computationally, which is a very useful skill regardless of your discipline. I'm a computer scientist. My name is George Heinemann. I teach at WPI, obviously. I've been doing teaching for 18 years, and I've been programming for about 30 years. So very early on in my life, I learned that I wanted to do programming and computer science. You each are coming from different disciplines, mathematics, electrical engineering, biomedical engineering. You've got very valuable skills in those disciplines, and I'm going to try to teach you another skill, namely programming, and specifically how to think computationally. You will find this useful for MATLAB, if you're in engineering, or if you like writing scripts to automate certain mundane tasks, it might even come in helpful in Excel for number crunching. Specifically, this ability to program is something that we need in the 21st century. In your discipline, you will be a much more valuable employee because not only of your knowledge in your discipline, but because you have other skills that you can use to be more productive and integrate with other members of the team, and ultimately to be able to talk to programmers, computer scientists, to work on larger endeavors. In this very brief video, I'm just going to tell you what this course is about and what you should expect. So we'll be meeting for the next seven weeks, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, in a virtual setting. This is a course that's fully online. It's not self-paced because I will be setting the pace. And I'll expect that you will follow the syllabus that I've designed, do the readings, and the exercises and the homeworks. In this particular arrangement, I expect that you will spend probably up to 14 hours a week, let's just say two hours a day. I've taught this course twice now, each time with 180 students, and the average amount of time that a student spent was about nine hours a week, although some spend up to 20 hours, but I do expect it would be about 14 hours. Should you find that you have any troubles with any of the material, the basic approach would be to contact me or your fellow students in the class if you know anyone in the class. I'm here to set up a structure that will allow you to succeed on your own, but if you have any questions, I'll be there to help. Let's talk about what the course is going to look like for you. I'll be sending out an email information with links that will give you the syllabus, it will tell you where the online textbook is, it will tell you where the video um, web pages will be, on the edX software that I've installed. In general, every day will contain a lecture that you will read, which will be a web page that I've provided. At the end of that lecture, there will be a self-assessment question that I will ask you to solve. And then at the end of that, if you have any questions, every night, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday of this course, at 8 o'clock at night, Eastern Standard Time, I will be online using Adobe Web Connect which will give us the ability to hold an online office hour every evening. So if you have any questions, you can of course contact me in real time that way. There will also be discussion forums set up on the website that will give you the opportunity to post a question and maybe I or one of the, your fellow students will answer in return. Along the way you'll be satisfying a number of homeworks that I've designed. There's going to be a total of nine homeworks. The final one is a capstone homework that every student will do. The other eight that will be spread throughout the term, you only need to do six out of the eight. I think this flexibility will help you, especially if you have summer plans. And if, of course, I recommend you do all eight, and I will just drop the lowest two grades that you may have. After you've satisfied the basics of the assignments, there will be three exams spread out during the term, roughly every ten lectures or so. These exams will be online, and I will explain the ground rules and the instructions for how you will satisfy those exams when we get closer to that. As I've mentioned, I've taught this course twice now, and the most common uh, feedback I get, the most common positive feedback, are students who tell me that they dreaded the idea of taking a course in programming because they were nervous, uh, especially because this is something they've never done before. I assume no programming knowledge. I only assume that you've been on a computer, maybe have used Excel um, and typed in some Word documents. With that as a starting point, I'll show you everything that you need to know how to solve problems using 
computer programming, which is a very important skill. With this information in mind, you'll be able to tackle the problems that I've laid out in this course and ultimately in your own disciplines. So the course is structured around these basic three parts. You will have the course lecture notes that you'll be reading every day. Those are the uh, web pages I've mentioned. There will be an online textbook. I think the license is $35 to use, and I will send you a link on that as well. This will give you access to the material that I expect you to read, and there's also interactive embedded sessions in that textbook that will give you the opportunity to immediately check your knowledge and make sure that you're following along with the pace that I'm setting. When I think about the grading of this course, the way that I've approached it is this is not a course that I'm, not, I'm trying to uh, find out how much work you can do in the shortest amount of time. My goal is to train you in certain skills that you need as a programmer to move forward. The language of this course will be Python. Very specifically, it'll be Python version 2.7. You can use this on a Macintosh, you can use this on a PC, Windows 7 or 8, or a Linux machine if you happen to have that. In solving these problems in Python, you'll be able to learn certain skills that will apply directly to MATLAB or uh, other software and scientific packages you may be familiar with in your own discipline. There will be three exams, as I mentioned. These exams are going to be on Monday, July 21st, Monday, August 4th, and then the last one will actually be held on campus. This is a really important idea. I'd like to meet the students in this class, and since you are all WPI students and will be returning for A-term, I assume that either on Monday the 25th of August or Tuesday the 26th, we can arrange a time for you to come on campus and take the final exam for this course. The three exams will total 45% of your grade. The homeworks will total 50% of your grade. And the last 5% are the exercises that I've mentioned are in the online textbook that you'll be doing throughout the course. That's the basic structure. Uh, I have some very specific guidelines regarding academic policy, academic honesty policy, that is. You're all individually working on the problems. I, I encourage you to talk to your classmates if you have questions. But you have to make sure that you submit your work as your own and you just don't copy someone else's assignment. We have an academic honesty policy at WPI, and if I find that you violated this policy, I will have no choice but to move forward with academic disciplines. So please, take this class as an opportunity to get outside your comfort zone and really work on learning how to program. The students who took this course before, who mentioned how nervous they were about taking this course, gave me very positive feedback afterwards, saying that even though they were scared at the beginning, they were surprised and pleased by how much they were able to learn in the seven weeks. And I still get emails from students telling me how they've applied the specific knowledge to their MQP or to their internship or even to their job that they're currently working in. So you have the basic structure of the course. I'll be contacting you by email shortly to tell you how uh, the rest of the course will run. I welcome you to this course and I really look forward to the opportunity of explaining to you how to think computationally, how to use Python to write programs of interest that solve problems in your specific domain that would be useful for you to understand. This is not a course in computer science. I'm not trying to convert you to be a computer science major. It's not even in an introduction to computer science. This is strictly a set of skills that I believe you need as a programmer. I'll train you in those skills. You'll demonstrate your mastery of those skills in Python. And at the end, you'll have an interesting set of skills that you'll be able to take with you into your own disciplines. Good luck on the course, and I look forward to teaching you.